I'm Mikhail and I'll be taking you through today's workout. Just that if this is your first time, you speak to your physician or physical therapist to see if this class is right for you. Do a total of six exercises, three standing and three on the floor for 40 seconds each for three rounds, all right? So first off, go ahead and you'll need one dumbbell. We're gonna do drivers. So you're going to hold on to the edge of this um, dumbbell and raise it up in front of you to either shoulder height or just before it. You rotate one direction, rotate the other direction, and lower it back down, all right? As you do it, you want a pelvic tilt, so bring that belly button in, really engage that core. It's a great core exercise. And upper body, so you rotate it one way, rotate the other way, and lower back down, all right? We'll go for 40 seconds, and here we go. So raise it straight up. This weight won't have to be too heavy for this exercise. If you feel like you have to really arch your back or swing it up, I'll ask that you go a little bit, a little bit lower. And you'll just rotate it in one direction each, um, each time you bring it up, just one time, and then you lower it back down. You don't have to keep on turning it. You go one way, then the other, and repeat. We'll do one more. Very nice. Next up, you'll need two dumbbells, all right? So we're going to do squats with a shoulder press. If you have any shoulder issues, um, you'll do just a squat portion of this exercise, so skip on the second part. So you will have the weights kind of in your hands up by, by your shoulders to start. You're going to do a squat, stand all the way up, and then press this weight over your head and back down, all right? So I want you to focus on each individual part of the movement. So do the squat first, stand all the way up, then go into the shoulder press, then back into a squat, all right? If you have any shoulder issues, you're doing just a squat portion. You can do it with or without weights as well, um, depending on your comfort level, all right? We'll go for 40 seconds, and here we go. And you're going to squat down, stand all the way up, raise this overhead, and back down. You don't have to go all the way down on the floor when you squat. Go as far as your range of motion lets you. So if it's not even down to parallel, you can do a nice little quarter squat. Stay right here, down and up, nice and controlled. And make sure you're sinking your hips straight back like you're sitting in a chair. We'll do two more. Here's two. And final one. Very nice. We'll do one more exercise and then we'll start all over with those ones, all right? So next up, we'll do bicep curls to start. So you're gonna hold the weights with your palms facing up, elbows by your side. You're gonna do bicep curls, bring them up and down. Halfway through, I'll give a cue, I'll, I'll let you know when. You're gonna switch to hammer curls. Then you're gonna rotate it so these palms face each other. And you're coming up and down, all right? So half the time you're doing bicep curls, palms facing up. I'll let you know how to switch. You're gonna rotate your hands in and do a hammer curl instead, all right? So we'll go for 40 seconds. We'll do 20 seconds for each of those exercises. And here we go. So again, palms facing up, bring this up towards your shoulders and back down. Nice and controlled, elbows stay by your side. We'll do two more and then switch. So we got, and final one. Now hammer curl, so now face these palms towards your body, like you're hitting a nail with a hammer. And again, you bring it straight up and down, have your feet about shoulder width apart, and make sure you double stay by your side, coming up and down. And we'll do two more. Here's two, final one. Very nice. All right, so that concludes our first round. We'll do two more of those uh, three exercises. Feel free to take a quick sip of water, place the weights down for a second, give your arms a quick break. 
and then we'll do another round, all right? So I'll explain the first exercise again. Feel free to keep taking your break while I explain it. So go back to the drivers. So you one dumbbell, hands holding on to the side, raise it straight up in front of you, rotate one way, rotate the other way, and then lower back down, all right? So you have 40 seconds for this exercise. And here we go. So straight up in front of you, you rotate and rotate and back down. Okay, you want to stop at either shoulder head or just before. You don't want to go above those shoulders. And you'll rotate it in one direction each way. All right. Nice and controlled. You want to keep your arms fairly straight, as straight as you can. Um, maybe a slight bend in them. We'll do two more. Here's two. And the last one. Very nice. Place this off to the side. Actually, sorry, let me do it again. So go ahead and grab those dumbbells again. And we're going to go into the squat with the shoulder press. All right. So again, any shoulder issues, you're not doing the overhead portion of this exercise, doing just squats. And if you'd like, you can do it without the weights as well. So you're going to hold these weights up by your shoulders and you'll squat, stand all the way up, press this over his head and lower back down. All right. Nice and controlled with these movements. And again, stand all the way up, then press overhead, bring it all the way down, then squat. All right. So we'll go for 40 seconds with this one. And here we go. So you'll squat, stand all the way up, and back down. All right, nice and controlled as you do it. And you're taking these hips back like you're sitting in a chair. That way you don't want these knees to drift forward beyond your toes. All right. And keep your chest up. You don't want to fall forward with that, that chest. Let's do two more. Here's two. And last one. Very nice. All right. You need to shake the germs a little bit. Place your weights down for a second if you'd like. And the last one we'll be doing is the half bicep curl, half hammer curl. So again, palms facing up, holding the weights, bringing them up to your shoulders, back down, halfway through. You'll switch so your palms face each other and do the same thing, all right? Hammer curl, same movement, all right? So we're going to go for 40 seconds for each of those, or sorry, 20 seconds for each of those for 40 seconds total. I haven't finished my coffee yet this morning. And start with the bicep curl. Here we go. 20 seconds with this one. Elbow by your side or elbows by your side. Straight up and down, nice and controlled. Let's do two more. Here's two. Final one. Very nice. Now palms face each other, hammer curls. Here we go. 20 seconds. Straight up and down, nice control. Keep this chest up, you know, that pelvic tilt. Feet about shoulder width apart. Nice soft knees, it's very easy to think about and kind of lock them up as you're doing it. Let's do two more. Here's two, and final one. Very nice. All right, feel free to set these weights down for a second. Give your arms a quick break. Take a nice quick water break. We'll do one more round and we'll take a longer water break and we'll move to the floor for the remaining exercises. All right. We'll go back to the driver. So again, holding each end, raising up straight in front of you, rotating one way, rotating the next, and back down. All right. And 40 seconds. Here we go. Straight up. Rotate one way, rotate the other way and back down, like you're driving a car or something. Go kart. And straight up, rotate, rotate, back down, and you want to keep that 
belly button in, stopping into that shoulder header just before it, rotating back down, and repeating. Giving yourself a nice good base with your feet about shoulder width apart will help with this exercise. We'll fight like balance in order to do this. Let's do two more. There's two. Final one. Very nice. Hand around the quick shakeout. Our second one we're going to do is the squat with the shoulder press. So again, any shoulder issues, skip this, the press portion of this exercise. So again, you're squatting, standing all the way up, or adding that press overhead as well. All right. So we are going to go for 40 seconds for this one. And here we go. So squat down, stand all the way up, then press down and repeat. Again, that weight through your heels, so that way you're sinking your hips straight backwards. that chest up. And you have to go all the way down to the floor. Even if it's a quarter squat here. We'll do one more. Very nice. Go ahead and take a quick rest. Then we're going to the last standing exercise before our break. All right, we're going to go five bicep curls. So palms facing up, elbows by your side, coming straight up and down, and then halfway through, hammer curls. All right, and 20 seconds, here we go. Straight up and down for bicep curls. Nice and controlled, you can add a slight pause at the top and the bottom if you'd like. That way you're really controlling the movement of the weight and you're not relying on momentum to swing this up and down. And we'll do one more and switch. All right, now hammer curls, palms facing in. 20 seconds, here we go. Straight up and down. Again, nice control. You can add that slight pause if you'd like. Even if it's just for a fraction of a second. And let's do two more. And final one. Very nice. All right, place these weights off to the side. Next up, we'll be going down to the floor. So feel free to do it from your bed, from the floor, if you have a mat or something at home you like to use, feel free to do that. Um, you will need a set of dumbbells for these next exercises. All right, so we'll take a quick water break, meet back here in a minute or two, and be good to go.
First exercise, I'll have you start on your back. All right. First one we'll be doing, we'll be doing like a vertical crunch. So this one, you can have your legs one of two ways. You can have them bent if you'd like, or straight up in the air. All right, see me? You have them straight up in the air or bent, whatever's most comfortable for you. And you're going to have your arms right up over your shoulders, all right, lying straight up. You're going to bring your shoulders up off the floor and back down, going straight up in the air, all right? I want you to go straight up, all right? You're not trying to touch your toes. You're just going straight up in the air this way and down instead of at an angle toward your toes, right? Just going straight in the air, back down, all right? We'll do that for 40 seconds. Okay, you can also be like bent, going straight up this way and down, whatever's most comfortable for you at home. And we're gonna go for 40 seconds. Here we go. So straight up and down. And it's not be a very big movement, just kind of lifting up those shoulders off the floor, shoulders and head. And you'll feel this nice, good core workout. You're halfway there. And we'll do, you got 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, you'll need a set of dumbbells. We'll be doing a chest press. So you'll stay on your back with your knees bent, weight in either hand. You'll have it lined up over your shoulders with your palms facing your feet. All right. So you're holding your weights. So alternate back and forth this exercise. Go for 40 seconds. And here we go. Just drop down to the side, raise back up, and alternate. Get nice and controlled as you do it. Even add in a nice pelvic tilt when you do it. Now you'll engage the core a little more. I'll protect the low back as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do two more each. So here's two. And last one. Very nice. Bring these weights in towards your chest, place them off towards the side. Our last exercise will be on your side. Doing a clamshell. All right, so your legs will be bent with your feet together. Step either a pillow or your arm underneath your head, whatever's most comfortable for you. So legs bent, your feet stay together, lifting this top leg up off the bottom one and lowering it back down. All right, so nice and controlled as you do it. Make sure your hips stay stacked over each other and you're not rolling backwards or too far forward, all right? So we'll go for 40 seconds, and here we go. So raise it straight up and down, nice and controlled. As you do this exercise. And you go as high as you can while keeping yourself lined up over, you, over your, like your hips lined up with each other. Let's do three more in three, two, and final one. Very nice. All right. We'll go back to the beginning now. So you stay on your backs. So go back to that vertical crunch. 
Get on your back with your feet either bent or straight up in the air, right? Arms up over your shoulders, just coming straight up off the floor and back down, all right? Go for 40 seconds on this one. And here we go. So straight up and down, nice and controlled. Then you're going straight in the air instead of that angle towards your toes. And it's important to remember to breathe. And 10 seconds. And three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, grab your dumbbells for a chest press. So line up straight up over your shoulders, one down towards the floor, raise it back up and alternate. So again, it starts line up over your shoulders, 90 degree angle, straight down, back up, and switch. All right. Go for 40 seconds for this one. And here we go. Straight down, raise it back up. Nice controlled as you do it. Line up over your shoulders, down at that 90 degree angle or just below, or less than 90 degrees. Check that elbow. Let's do two more each. Here's two. And final one. Very nice. Bring these weights into your chest, then place them off to the side. And last one we'll do. Let's do clamshell. So on your side, now we'll switch sides. So again, feet together, hips stacked over each other, raising this leg up and down. All right, we'll go for 40 seconds. And here we go. So straight up and down, nice controlled. Hips stay stacked over each other. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. All right, we have one last and final round. Four classes over. So we'll go back to the beginning again. Feel free to take a quick sip of water and then we'll start all over for these exercises. And then you'll be ready to kick off your weekend. Enjoy the weather today before it unfortunately gets rainy again. So again, we'll do the vertical crunch. So legs, you can have them either bent or straight. And you're going to uh, bring your arms straight up in the air to your toes, or not straight up in the air, and back down for 40 seconds. And, and here we go. So straight up and down, nice and controlled. And it doesn't be a very big movement. It'll be a nice small one up off the floor and down. got 10 more seconds. And three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, back into the chest press. So you'll have weights one in each hand, right up over your shoulders, down the side 90 degrees, back up, and alternate. All right. We'll go for 40 seconds for this one. And here we go. Bring it straight down, back up, and alternate. Get nice and controlled. Focus on this movement. Bring it up and down. Let's 
Let's do two more each. So here's two. And final one. Very nice. Bring these weights into your chest, place them off to the side. Our last and final exercise of the day. We're doing clamshells. So we'll do half on one side and then switch and do half on the other. So we'll do 20 seconds each side. Again, hips stacked over each other, feet together, bring this top leg up and down. All right. So 20 seconds. And here we go. Bring it straight up and down. Nice and controlled. Bring these feet together. And switch sides. And final 20 seconds. And here we go. Right, straight up and down. Nice control. And you got final three. So three, two, and last one. Very nice. So that concludes total body strength for the day. Thank you everybody for joining.